It's always fascinating to hear about Easter eggs that have been discovered years after a game's release, secrets that have gone unnoticed even after millions of players have roamed the worlds that they lay in. But to be honest, it's hardly surprising that some of these weren't discovered sooner, and thanks to the persistence, dedication and skills of various individuals in the community and recent hints from developers, we now have new Easter eggs that have been discovered in the past two years as we take a look at some Easter eggs that took years to find. Zelda's Adventure for the Philips CDI was developed by Viridis and released back in 1994, and some 25 years later in June of 2019, a CDI enthusiast happened to stumble upon a rather strange looking sprite in the game that happened to be of a skateboarder, which is definitely something you'd never expect to see in a Zelda title. Then, in August of the same year, Twitter user the Monday C began to document and investigate why this sprite might even exist in the first place, and quickly discovered that the character was actually going to be used in another variety title called Food Dude, which never actually ended up being released. Then while researching on the cutting room floor, the Monday C found this unused voice line and came to the conclusion that the two were related and that there might be an undiscovered Easter egg. And sure enough, in October of 2020 and some 14 months later, the Monday C returned to Twitter to announce they had solved the Easter egg, which requires you to stand on this screen near a lake to the northwest of the map, hold a diamond and press a button for 6.5 seconds. Radical dude, totally! Radical dude, totally! YouTuber Lance McDonald is quickly becoming a legend in the YouTube gaming scene, particularly for his reverse engineering skills, restoring debugging modes, camera hacks and surprising easter eggs he is discovering, including this one he found last year in the God of War. Anyway, it was in 2018 that the director of Nier Automata in an interview with Famitsu Magazine mentioned that there was one final secret yet to be discovered, and it was just recently that Lance stumbled upon a line of code in the game's engine that was curiously listed as Cheat Command Manager, and he decided to reverse engineer it, and in doing so, he managed to solve the game's final secret, which is the cheat code to skip to the game's final moments, unlock the chapter select, debug mode, the debug room, and the trophy shop. And to achieve this for yourself, you just have to play through the prologue, defeat the first boss named Marks, watch the cutscene, and then stand in between these two sets of barrels holding R2 and punching in the following code up, down, up, right, square, circle, triangle, and cross. Pod 153 to player. Please respond to this query. Do you, faithful player? Have anything you would like to say to other players? If you do it correctly, the screen will then fade to black and immediately transport you to the post credit scene of the final ending. And then you can head to the main menu to enjoy your new rewards, which are something that normally require you to play the game three times to unlock. One, peanut. You found the bag with eight peanuts. Back in 2019, my friend Odd Header and fellow Easter egg hunter made a video covering Easter eggs that had not been discovered. And one such secret was brought to Odd's attention on his Discord server back in late 2018, thanks to user Dilly Dylan, who was actually conducting an interview with Brian Greenstone, who informed Dilly of an undiscovered Easter egg that himself and two other programmers put into the Super Nintendo conversion of Mario's early years fun with numbers, and that it was in Mario's bedroom by clicking on a single pixel that would trigger the easter egg. And it's hardly surprising it was never found, as it's actually in an area where there is simply no reason to be clicking in. And anyway, it was just 9 days later when the easter egg was finally uncovered and first posted onto YouTube by user HeidelC.
Hello. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six. Quite some time ago, myself and Odd Header were contacted by an anonymous developer who worked on Homefront, the revolution, and told us that there was an Easter egg still yet to be found. And in Odd Header's video, Discovery is Never Meant to Be Found Free, he went into detail how data miners had actually found the entire game of Time Splitters 2 hidden within the files, but we didn't know if it could be accessed properly. Anyway, roll forward to the 4th of April of this year when game designer Jan asked this question on Twitter. And out of all the hundreds of responses he had, Matt Phillips was one of them and he said, My proudest moment, fully playable native 4K port of Time Splitters 2 hidden in this arcade machine in Homefront, the revolution. Unfortunately though, Matt no longer had the code to unlock it, but then, just days later, it was Spencer the Dean who turned up with this. Yes, the code to unlock the full game, and within days, other users had chimed in with all the codes and features for both Xbox and PS4. And to try this for yourself, you just have to hop onto the Time Splitters 2 arcade machine, which can be found once you reach the mission spool by name, and punch in these codes upon the main menu. Hi, it's Robin. When Satoru Iwata passed away in 2015, he had become a household name as the president of Nintendo. This is Robin, a retro computer collector, video game programmer, and owner of the YouTube channel 8-Bit Show and Tell. And back on the 23rd of June of last year, Robin took some time out to go over Satoru Iwata's programming background. His first commercial game called Star Battle for the Commodore Vic he programmed in 1981, and he also went over the Waters Easter Egg which was tucked away within the game. Now, while this secret has been known about for quite some time, it has never actually seen the light of day and been displayed in the way it was meant to be seen until now, as Robin discovers that there is almost complete code that allows the easter egg to be triggered in game, and then spends the rest of the video explaining how he found the code, how to trigger it, and how he restored it with his very own patch and enabling him to activate an easter egg which was created over 40 years ago. And I'd just like to say a huge thank you to Robin for allowing me to use his footage during this entire segment. Push the start button, and this is where we'll do it. There's the Easter egg. There. This program was written by Satoru Iwata, April 19, 1981, almost 40 years ago. HAL Laboratory, Akihabara, or Aki, Akihabara. <laughs> no. So I looked that up. That's actually a district where they sell lots of electronics, and it's actually where Iwata would have hung out when he was getting into computers around 1980 or so. Earlier on in the episode, we discussed how many developers were responding to Jan's tweets back on the 4th of April, and there was also Patrick Wren, a Halo designer who also revealed an undiscovered Easter egg that was lurking in the mission of evacuation in Halo 5. And with that, the crew of the YouTube channel Rocket Sloth jumped into the game along with General Kid and Spartan Blood 01 in search for the Easter egg, and spent many hours theorizing, testing, and exploring every nook and cranny in hope of unlocking it. Unfortunately though, they didn't have any luck on the first day, but thanks to another tweet and further hints from Patrick on the following day, the Rocket Sloth crew jumped on with the Kane 23 in a buddy and managed to solve the six-year-old easter egg, which requires all four players to rush over to the first gate within three seconds and then stand there for a further 117 seconds, where then all four players will be transported onto mongooses to start a race of Halo Kart. And I'd just like to say a massive thank you to the Rocket Sloth crew for allowing me to use their footage and this raw video of the Easter Egg in action. Easter Egg, 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 Eas